This is a 1968 Sunoco Camaro. This car matters because it was one of the six Penske Camaros that was built to defend the Trans Am Championship against Ford and Chrysler in the 60s. This is the first 68 car that was built. And this car ran all the Trans Ams in that year. Sam Posey drove it in most of its life. There's four known to exist. This is one of the four. And that's why this car is really significant and really important. They nicknamed their race team the Unfair Advantage Race Team because they did some things that Ford was looking at them and trying to say, how did they do that? The street Camaro, frankly, was a terrible race car. So it took a lot of engineering to make these cars handle well and run well. And those guys were just good enough that they could do it. I mean, there were some very, very creative engineering that went into these cars. We have here a 302 cubic inch Chevy motor. Chevrolet engineering was playing with two four barrel carburetor systems. And this particular manifold is one of the original prototype manifolds that Chevrolet designed. Some other interesting things, this is a quick oil fill. For the long distance races, they could put oil in under pressure. Roll bars that come down through the firewall and attach to the frame forward, which give the car much more structural rigidity. Inside the car, it appears to be a safe cage. It's a uh, you know, rollover protection, but it's a lot more than that because the bars I showed you in front, some of them also go to the rear suspension. If you look at the safety aspect of this car, it leaves a lot to be desired by today's standards. But this is what they ran in the day. These guys were real guys, there's no doubt about it. It doesn't have power steering, and on a real tight track, it's a handful. The motor has about 55 or 60 race hours, so it's pretty tired. They don't like to go slow. The other cars that are out there, uh, I race with every chance we get. We pit together, we race together, we fix each other's cars together. It's a wonderful camaraderie that we have as part of this historic Trans Am group. The other thing that's special about this car for me is I saw it run back in the day. I was at Mid-Ohio, I was at Daytona, and I was at Sebring in 1968. So it never occurred to me that I would have the opportunity to own one of these cars. Especially to go to a track like Watkins Glen or Lime Rock, Mid-Ohio, where they raced originally, and have them on those same tracks. It's really special. This is the most significantly historic car I've ever had, and I feel a real responsibility to pass it on to the next person hopefully that'll have the same interest in keeping it as I have. I'm Bill Bryan and this car matters.